Here on the ground, the extreme heat continues for us. For how extreme? Here's 23 ABC Chief Meteorologist Brandon Michaels. Hey, Brandon. Yeah, hey guys, and kind of bad news on that front. We've been expecting some very hot temperatures here towards the end of the week and into Labor Day. Uh, unfortunately, models are continuing to trend even hotter, so those temperatures are creeping up even higher towards the end of the forecast. Already in the triple digits here, we made it to 100 today. And compared to what's coming, that's really not even all that bad because our temperatures are very quickly going to be heating up here. Not quite tomorrow, though. 101 in Bakersfield tomorrow, not a lot of change. It's going to be Thursday, Friday and beyond, but we really see those temperatures building for us. But that is not the case in Eastern Kern. We see the temperatures taking a big step up tomorrow. We're going to hover right around 110 in the hottest parts of the Kern Desert for tomorrow. And even our mountain communities already getting into the mid 90s. Only a seven degree difference between Tatchby and Bakersfield for tomorrow. So we see that heat is definitely starting to creep into the forecast here. We'll take a look at the rest of tomorrow's forecast before we get into that extreme heat. Not a lot of wind to talk about. Strongest gusts 25 to 30 over in Eastern Kern. Typical light winds for us here in the valley and taking a look at your air quality for tomorrow. Not so good, unhealthy for sensitive groups. So we're going to have some hazier skies like we saw today, and that's no surprise with a big area of high pressure built right overhead that tends to kind of trap the pollution right down in the valley. And the issue here, not just that we're dealing with this big area of high pressure, but as we play this out through time, I'm going to play this out through Monday. It'll move around a little bit, but it is not moving significantly. It really doesn't give us a big change in the weather pattern as we head through the next seven days or so which means we're just going to stay very, very hot as far as we can forecast. So tomorrow, really your last chance to maybe be in the double digits. If we run a little cooler than expected, we could maybe stay at 99 tomorrow, but I expect by about 4 p.m. we're going to be around 100 degrees and we'll top out at 101. A step up on Thursday at 104, and then the temperatures really soar as we head through the remainder of the forecast. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, all over 105. Excessive heat warning goes into effect starting tomorrow, and it goes all the way through Tuesday, and it could even get extended further than that. So we've got a lot of heat to talk about in the forecast here. And as we've been saying, it's not just in the valley. It's not just in the desert. Even our mountain community is hot, mid to even some upper 90s possible for Tehachapi and Fraser Park. Temperatures over 105 for Lake Isabella. Again, we do have a little bit of a chance for some moisture there Sunday into Monday. We'll keep an eye on the monsoon, but that is not the big story as we head into Labor Day weekend. The big story, the extreme heat that's heading our way.